What is going on YouTube? Have you ever wondered how easy it is and what the best method is to transfer photos from your iPhone over to your Mac? We cover that in today's video. Stay tuned. So first and foremost, I know there's a ton of different ways to transfer your photos or your videos over from your phone to your Mac. However, I love AirDrop just because of the simplicity. It doesn't rely on an internet connection. It just uses the Bluetooth between the two machines to transfer over the file. So it may not be the simplest or fastest way. iCloud may have that just because it is a cloud-based. However, if you don't have an internet connection, iCloud doesn't work because you can't sync it. So I love this method just of how simple it is. As you can see, I've got the live feed of the phone and then I've got the Mac over here. First thing that we're gonna want to do is open up Finder on the Mac and you can see on the left-hand side on default, it is right here under favorites. You are want to, you're gonna want to click on AirDrop. Once you've done that, it says AirDrop lets you share instantly with people nearby. Of course, you want to change this from allow me to discovered by everyone. So yours may be set to nobody or contacts only. In this particular demonstration, just go ahead and set it to everyone because we're just gonna send a, uh, a file quick, real quick back and forth, and then we can go back in and change it back. Again, I'm gonna leave that on everyone. And then what we're gonna do, as you can see on the phone, we are gonna go into photos. So once you're in your photos, as you can see, I've got a couple in there for demonstration purposes. You're gonna go ahead and want to click on the select in the top right hand corner. It's gonna put you into a select mode so you can select all the different types of images that you want to transfer over through AirDrop. So just click on one, click on a second one, whatever, how many ever you want. Once you're done, down in the bottom left hand corner, you're gonna see a little square with an up arrow. Click on that. And right below the pictures, it's going to scan for an AirDrop nearby. You can see that it's found this one, so we're gonna click on that one. And then on the Mac, you're gonna see iPhone wants to send you two photos. You can open up in photos. You can de uh, decline or you can accept. I'm gonna head, go ahead and click accept. And it's gonna send those to the downloads folder as your default. So once those have finished downloading, just left click on downloads and you can see that the images are listed right there and then you can move them wherever you want to. The next question that you may be having is, well, I got them on the computer. Now, how do I get them back from the Mac over to my iPhone? Maybe there's a picture that you have on your Mac that you would like to have on your mobile phone. Simple process. Again, we're in the downloads because that's where we had downloaded them before and say we wanted to send these back to the phone because we delete them off the phone, but we wanna actually have another copy of those. What you're gonna do is you're going to select all of the different types of photos that you would like to have, and then you're gonna click on that same, same icon of the square with the up arrow and choose AirDrop. A little menu is gonna pop up, and that little menu is gonna search for a nearby iPhone or a nearby Bluetooth device that, that has AirDrop, in this case, iPhone. So we're gonna left click on that, and then as you can see on the phone, it says AirDrop would like to share two photos. You can click decline or accept. We're gonna go ahead and click accept. Once you've clicked accept, it's gonna take you over to the photos and show you all of the photos that you just transferred over via your iPhone. And then on the Mac, you can come over here and click done and you have successfully completed the transfer process. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. If you liked the video, give it a like. Just a quick question of the day. What kind of methods do you use to transfer your photos? Leave your answer in the comment section below the video. And of course, while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell notification to get future notifications. And we will see you on the next one.